200. Here. I'm the dude, so that's what you call me. When you're living in a van down by the river. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Today is Friday. Because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got... Sixth, is this mic even hot? And you know this, man. I'm JB, and welcome to another edition of What's On Today with Discovery Bay, home of the YouTube comic book community channel guide. This is the show where I'm going to share some of my top picks from the sea of comic content that was released yesterday. Then I'm going to run down a lineup of content creators that are either releasing, premiering, or going live. Now, halfway through that lineup, we're going to break for a segment titled the Instagram Tag of the Day. And since it's Friday and I don't do the show on weekends anymore, I figured why not take a quick peek at what's coming up on Saturday with a quick preview. And then finally, to end today's show, I'm going to open a random package from that crazy, stupid pile of comics I still have left open in a segment titled What's in the Box Already? Okay, so for uh, 200, I figured instead of looking at top picks from yesterday, I'm going to give you my top picks from all the recaps I've ever done. Are you ready? So, there are links to these channels in the description below. These channels have been discovered. So, first up, remember this one? Our time with the family, but yesterday I did participate in something kind of fun over at the Comic Core channel. Let's take a peek. Ladies and gentlemen of the comic community, welcome here to the first official comic book court. We have lawyers for the prosecution, we have lawyers for the defense who are here to debate. They will be given a few minutes each for opening statements. This will be followed by the calling of witnesses who will give expert testimony and present evidence to this court. We will finish with a timed closing remark from both sides, sorry. After which I will give the jury instructions and we can begin to tally the votes from you, the chat, who are the deciders of the justice in this court. The discussion for tonight's centers around the Tom King DC's event series, Heroes in Crisis. And the issue at hand is this, is Heroes in Crisis a good event series? You, the jury, will decide this based upon information presented in this court. Yeah, this is uh, an open and shut case, really. Uh, you know, I think the comic book community is speaking out because it's so outrageous. It's just ridiculous that people even think this is good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, and may it please the court, I'm here to defend the work of art that I believe is being maligned by the comic community. I'm here to speak for a minority opinion. My hope is that through our discussion and our discourse, the value of opinions can be upheld. However, I strongly believe that this is a place where we can listen, have some reason and conversation, and this will conquer a difference of ideals. That was too much fun. If you want to see the entire video and more great content from the Comic Core channel, click the link right here. All right, let's get to today's live. Okay, well, this one's definitely got to be on the list, right? Skip the recap on Mondays, but there was a couple of videos I have to mention. And the first item on the recap comes from last Friday. Adam, over at Bear Island Comics, released a fantastic video titled Comic Core The Song, My Baltimore Contest Entry, plus outtakes. Let's, let's take a peek. Comic Core rhymes with comic, horse rhymes with Baltimore. I heard you got room for one more. Pick me, Comic Core. Mr. Manchu, I avoided you at C2E2. And I was young and so confused. Now this D stands for Drew. All right, let's do some great legend. Legend rhymes almost all the times, dropping truth like dimes with a flow so freaking prime. 
Yeah, it ought to be a crime Cat ran figures Love star fire Mark's well fed, happy in his shed. By a leash he's led to get fresh straw for his bed. Hashtag free Mark. Cat Ren figures. Coriander. Let's start by his name. In Seawood land, you can find that man at the newsstand. And all the arts by Stephanie Hans. When you're in Seawood land, Paul Midwest was one of the best. Now in peace he rests. Guess God needed some books pressed We will never forget Gone too soon This entire video had me smiling ear to ear! To see this and more great content from Adam over at Bear Island Comics, click the link right here! Now, if you're asking, what is the Baltimore Comic Con? And still, my all-time favorite moment has been discovered. Now, the only item on the recap, and I really don't even know what to say about this one, man. I cried my eyes out watching this live. This was probably the live stream of the year so far. I mean, the backstory alone is incredible, and McD is one of my favorite YouTubers who's been going through some stuff. So, head over to Comic Geek McD channel for the replay of an epic live stream titled Life Channel Update and a Mystery Mail Opening. Let's take a peek. May 10th, 2019, Comic Geek with D. Growth and Ominous consists of a group of active members in the comic community who are band banded together for a common cause. Make the world a better place, one grail at a time. You probably know most of us, but anonymity, anonymity, I don't know how to say that word, is key. Uh, as we search the community for those who are in need of a reminder that they are not alone. Through experience, we know that life can get in the way. Our mission is to find outstanding members of the community like you to grant, oh my god, who grant the ultimate act of kindness to bequeathing them with a convict grill. What? Michael, we want you to know that you're, what? Michael, we want you to know that you are a special part of this community and without you, it just wouldn't be the same. Even though we can't physically take your suffering and pain, we hope that you, we hope that you know that we are right here with you. Every time you look at this book, remember that you are not alone. Please just get accept this gift as our way of saying thank you for being you. Oh my God! Whether you want to share this with the entire community or keep it to yourself, we leave that up to you. This is your gift to do whatever you want with. But if you happen to decide to open this live, please spread the word so we can visit your video to see the look in your face. We've reached out to Discovery Bay Comics we've asked him to be on the lookout just in case. Let him know and we will make sure people are there. When you uh, when you open this package, we hope it fills you with happiness and love in a way that makes your day and lightens your load. Enjoy your friends, girls and ominous. What the heck? This is insane. Right. Oh my God. My heart's beating, guys. All right, guys. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. Wow! Who are these people? Or person, because I personally think it's one person. But, if you know, please pass along the JB's personal grail as a GSX-1. You know, dude, I'm just saying! Man, to see this entire video, and see what 9.8 white pages grail McD got, click the link right here. Okay, now let's get to today's lineup and find out what's on to- I'm not crying, man. I'm not crying, you're crying. Okay, well let's get to today's lineup and find out what's on today with Discovery Bay. 
All of these times are listed in both Pacific Standard Time and Eastern Standard Time, and there are both video and channel links with timestamps in the description below. Today there are 14 shows in the lineup, and two are still premiering, and nine are still going live! So, first up, at 1 a.m. Pacific, 4 a.m. Eastern, Over at the Joe Ryan Comics channel, Joe released the next video in his series titled DC Comics Previews November 2019. See what comics see what comic books to buy two months ahead. Great series there. Okay. At 5 a.m. Pacific, 8 a.m. Eastern, over at the Spidey Fan channel, he released the next episode in his series titled What the FOC. October 2nd, 2019, Top Comic Book Variants and Additional Printings releasing October 2nd, 2019. So, Spidey Fan talks about books that will be foc Final Order Cutoff on September 9th for books that are on the shelf October 2nd, 2019. But he's not approaching this series as a speculator point of view. He's doing this as a collector who just wants to be informed so he's ready to order and not be overcharged when these books come out in the aftermarket. Great series, man. I love that one, too. All right. At 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, over at the Comic Core channel, Drew Manchu released the next episode in his series titled Deceased, A Good Way to Die Number 1, The Official Comic Core Review. With the Justice League busy fighting the worldwide epidemic, does a ragtag group led by Mr. Terrific stand a chance? Check out Drew's review at the link in the description below to find out. All right, at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, over at the Downright Nerdy Podcast, Michael is premiering a video titled Episode Number 33, Rachel Litfin, author of Chronicles of Royal High. So in this episode, Rachel shares her personal story of how she became a published author, what inspired her to create the core series, and the future of Adela Everhart. It's going to be terrific. Okay, also at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, Over at the Gem Mint Collectibles channel, Gem and the team are going live with a stream titled Comic Book Pressing, Cleaning and Restorations, live with Mike D of Hero Restoration. Man, that's going to be good too. Also at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, over at the MCE channel, which stands for Marvelous Collectibles and Entertainment, Seth is going to be going live with a stream titled New York Comic Con Funko Chat. So join What's Poppin', the OG Geek and Just a Geek from the 305 as they discuss the latest reveals from Funko for New York Comic Con. Now they'll also be doing some live giveaways during this live stream. And that's What's Poppin'. All right, at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern, uh, let's get ready to rumble! All right, yeah. Over at the Boy Who Had 7 Talks comic books channel, Matt is going live with a stream titled Friday Night Fights, Comic Gories, Episode 3, Bake the Snake vs. Mr. Comics 89, and D-Runk vs. Bear Island. All right, all right, comic book matchup fans. I'm not going to even tell you all the details on this because if you're not watching this, you're absolutely missing out. The clock, the categories, the decisions, the vote by the chat. It's awesome. It's fantastic. You just got to watch it. Okay, this is the halfway point in the lineup and it's time for a segment titled the Instagram Tag of the Day. And today's tags come from Cat Ren Figures, Mr. Comics 89, and The Boy Who Had 7 Talks Comic Books. They all tagged me this morning for first appearance Friday. So. Cat came with a Ratchet and Clank issue number one. And Matt over at Mr. Comics 89 went big again with an amazing Spider-Man number 50. First appearance of Kingpin and a classic Spider-Man cover. By the way, another book I don't have. You're killing me, Matt. And this one was a late ad, but I had to add it as Matt over at the Boy Who Had 7 Talks comic books came with an Avengers number 4, first Silver Age appearance of Steve Rogers as Captain America, which I'm so jelly of, but I did notice this is the first non-9.8 slab that I can remember Matt ever showing. So, I in turn posted this for first appearance Friday. I'm going with my Hulk 181 from November of 1974, first of full appearance of Wolverine, courtesy of that Spider-Man booth, and I can't believe I've never used this one on IG yet. 
So, in honor of my 200th episode, I went big in tag Gem Mint Collectibles, Tom over at Comic Tom 101, Travis at Comics with Bueller, and Billy over at Economics and Comics. Alright, now that was fun, let's get back to the lineup. At 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, Over at the Economics and Comics channel, Billy should be going live with a stream titled Live Comic Book Auction, Silver Age Comics Only. Going to be sick! Friday, 9-6, 6, 6 p.m. Pacific. Silver Age, huh, Billy? You got my attention now, bro. Alright, also at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, over at the Three Men in a Basement Comics and Collectibles channel, the crew is going live with a stream titled Three Men in a Basement Giveaways, Live Show, Comic Halls, and Titan Talk. That'll be good. All right, also at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Over at the Comic Heads channel, Kenny should be going live today with a live stream titled Name That Key Trivia Battle, Hialeah Comic Bro vs. Wait a minute, that's me. Versus me, Disco Bay, that's right. So let's join Kenny and the Immortal Biggie Shack as they host guest Hialeah Comic Bro and me. That's right. I don't know what I was thinking, man, but this is going to be fun. It should be a blast. Join us in the live chat and be ready to laugh. Okay, also at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Over at the Simple Man Comics channel, Brian and Jack are doing something new. They're premiering a video titled The Last Call. Top 10 pre-FOC Final Order Cutoff comic books for 9-2. So very similar to earlier, they're just giving you their top 10. All right, and finally, the last show in the 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern time slot over at the Keep It Thorough Comics channel. They should be going live with a stream titled Friday Night Comic Book Auction. So come join Comically Flawed, Joker M21, Chad RCG, Roman Curtis 71, and maybe even Big E's for a great night of comic auctions, deals, and laughs. All right, next up at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, we've got Comic Core Live. So come join Comic Core Chad, Cat Red Figures, and Mark Drew Manchu, the Great Legend, and Sea Water 19 in the chat. It's prime time. It's Friday. The show's gonna go off the rails. You know it's gonna be a blast. All right. Well, the last item on the lineup and the last live show that I know about starts at 8 p.m. Pacific. 11 p.m. Eastern over at the Tony Sanders channel. The McSands Productions and Comic Book Federation is going live with a stream titled The Hunt. Cover Championship, the Golden Boy JD Flair, woo, versus Tony the Tone Sanders. You know what? Let's let Tone tell us about it. The Tone has come back to Instagram, and the Tone comes to you as Tony Two Belts. <laughs> That's right, the Tone is now the Hunt World Champion as well as your Hunt Cover Champion. And speaking of cover championships, the Tone defends his one-on-one -on -one tonight with the golden boy himself, JD. Uh, Tone, the match is not happening. What are you, what are you talking about, Jabroni? McSans postponed what the match. What do you mean? What did McSans do? He uh, postponed the match, Tone, sorry. Unbelievable. The Tone is a fighting champion. So I'll tell you this, Flair. Tomorrow night, same time, come get that ass whooping from the great one himself. What? What? What the? What just happened there? Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess that's tomorrow. That's going to be now tomorrow. So that's now tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. You know, that reminds me, since I don't do a show on Saturdays anymore, let's give everybody a quick peek at what's coming up tomorrow, Saturday, sub Saturday September 7th. Um, all right, so I'm gonna change this board here, or is it here? Who knows? We normally have John's Comics with Kids in the morning somewhere around 8, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and then after that, you head over to Jason at JP's Budget Collecting for the next installment in his Are They Still Hot series, where he looks back six months at the CBSI Hot Top 10 comics. I'm not sure if Soldier and Future are back, but I do know that Rod the Reekin is going live every Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern for Coast to Coast Comics with Jeffrey Comic-Con Henson. And tomorrow they have none other than Wolf Warner. Man, 
I need more Wolf Warner in my comic life. If you haven't seen him, he's absolutely terrific. Now, also at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, over at the Tony Fett channel, Tony should be going live with an exclusive interview with the owner of EGS Grady. And now Tony's assembled a panel, which I will be a part of, and I'm excited to sit and sit and chat with the newest player in the grading game. And literally, these guys are changing the game. If you haven't seen what they're doing, it's going to be fun. So that's tomorrow at 5 p.m. over at the Tony Fett channel. Now, at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, it's Saturday. Comic Core is going live with an auction. That's right. It looked like there was an open window there since Thorough went tonight. And, and Big Lion Cat's not going till two weeks from now, meaning not ne this Saturday, but next Saturday. Uh, Comic Core is going to go live with an auction. All right. And finally, to close out Saturday night right at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, head over and check out a live stream from Robert, the comic book G-Spot Galvin, titled Episode 3 of The Witching Hour. The Comic Book with a Hook Show and special guest. So join Robert the Comic Book G-Spot Galvin and his co-host, Jeff Comic 813, the Cantonese comic kid, as they discuss comics, movie, entertainment, and more. And you know they're going to have a couple of surprise guests, maybe one or two at least. And they even said they might give away some stuff. You never know, man. I'm just saying. All right, well, that's it for the lineups. Now for a segment I'm calling What's in the Box Already? And this one's off script. I'm not sure who this is, to be honest with you. Um, Kevin Wayne in Brooklyn, New York. I'm not quite sure what I bought from Kevin Wayne in Brooklyn, New York, but let's find out, right? Slab, 9.6. Teen Titans, number 12. First full appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. Anyway, can't always get 9.8s, guy. I'll take a 9.6 in this one all day. Very nice. All right, that was fun. Thank you for taking the time to watch me and our channel today. And always, honestly, man, I can't say thank you enough to everyone that actually watches this show. Uh, I have a blast putting it on, and I want to thank you. Please visit me on Facebook and Instagram where I'll be posting this schedule with any ads and or changes later on this afternoon. We've also got a Patreon page if you're interested in supporting the channel for as little as $1 a month. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. If you know of anyone that might be interested in this information or may want to be included in the show, please share this with them. Also, drop me a comment below on how I can improve the show or if there's a channel out there that I should be watching. Now, if you're not already a subscriber, think about subscribing so you don't miss any of this great new content. Who knows? You may find your new favorite channel today. And as always, don't forget, we had a good time. 200th episode, everybody. Thank you for watching. See you later. Nice work, everyone. Sharp broadcast. Really good. Everyone on the floor as well. Really a lot of hustle. I liked it.